In this video, we're talking a little bit more about population density, and we'll handle a problem where we need to convert the units of area. In this example, a city planner is determining how many people could live in an area of land once residential buildings are built. To figure out how many people could live on the land, the planner is using the ratio that six people can live comfortably in an area of 1,500 square feet. We actually have a measure of population density. We are comparing a number of people to an area in which they're living. We can change this into a unit rate if we divide 6 divided by 1500. We'll come up with how many people per square foot. Now it's important to see one way to show that these two fractions are equal. We know with fractions and ratios, they're kind of the same thing, that we can multiply or divide any number as long as we do it to the numerator and denominator, we'll have an equivalent fraction. Now in this case, you might have thought like we're changing this fraction into a decimal, do 6 divided by 1500, but you could also show that by saying we're going to divide numerator and denominator by 1500. In the denominator, 1500 divided by 1500 equals 1, what we know is therefore a unit rate, and 6 divided by 1500 equals 0 0.004 people per square foot. So we're showing that these two ratios are equal. This is helpful because maybe I want to go back to that six people per 1500 square feet and I'd like to figure out well how much space do we get for each individual person. In this case since I want to figure out how much space one person gets I can see I can do that with dividing by six and we'll just need to do that to the numerator and denominator. So we're showing that each person is allotted 250 square feet. Another fraction that is equal to these two up here, because we're doing the same operation to numerator and denominator. In terms of population density, we're usually using the unit rate, but understand that these are all equivalent representations of the density of people in this new residential complex. For each person, 250 square feet, and that equates to a density of 0 .004 or 4 one thousandths people per every square foot. Now in this example it was easy for us to see that we needed to take the 6 and divide again by 6 to get to this ratio for what, how much land per one person. But there are other fractions where it might not be so clear to see what operation we need to do. So in these cases we'll be using a proportion. We can use this unit rate for population density to answer questions like how many square feet would be needed if we wanted to accommodate 72 people. Now it's not so clear what number we're multiplying in the numerator to get from point zero zero four to 72. We can use instead our steps for solving a proportion. Multiply these two numbers diagonally and then divide by the third number. 1 times 72 and then divided by 0 .004. This gives us a result of 18,000 square feet. So using this population density from earlier, we can calculate how many people 72 would be in an area of 18,000 square feet. Another quick example, going back to the rate for population density, we can calculate how many people would be able to live on 150,000 square feet. So the new density is in an area of 150,000 square feet. In this case, it might be easier to see that we're actually multiplying the denominator 1 times 150,000. So we'll do the same to the numerator, 0 .004 times 150,000. And we'll come up with 600 people. We could still use the same steps as above with solving a proportion, multiply diagonally and divide by the third. That would still give us the same result, 600 people. So now we'll say that the city planner has come up with a plan to build a residential complex that is 150,000 square feet and will accommodate 600 people. And let's say that there's a planner in Europe who wants to copy this design, except instead of square feet, we need the area in square meters. So now we'll go through the steps for converting units of area. So I've recopied the rate from that last example, 600 people in 150,000 square feet. And we know that this population density is equal to the population density in our unit rate and the other fractions that we use throughout this problem. 
and we can show that by simply dividing numerator by denominator, and we'll get back to that 0 .004 people per square foot. So you can divide to show that fractions are equivalent. But our next issue is to convert this area, 150,000 square feet, into square meters. We have to be cautious because feet and meters are actually used to measure distances in a straight line, and we're using square units to measure area. We can use the information that one foot equals 0 .3048 meters. But in order to convert square feet and square meters, we need to square both sides. So one foot by one foot to give us one square foot. And we know that each foot is 0 .3048 meters. So squaring 0 .3048 to give us units of square meters, we get this numerical result, that one square foot is only 0 .093 square meters. I can give you one real quick example of why we see this change. Think about one line, there's one, and think about another line that's three times as long, three. Now square each of those lines, make each line into a square, so there's our one square, but look at what happens when we do a three square. How many total boxes do we have now? So squaring three became nine. It was actually nine times as large. So we get a different result when we're looking at square units. Now that we've figured out one square foot equals 0 .093 square meters, we can go to this 150,000 square feet and say each one is 0 .093 square meters. And this multiplication will give us our area in square meters. So we have an approximate result of 13,950 square meters. How about for a nice finish, we take this rate of people per square meter and convert this down into a unit rate. We would still divide numerator by denominator, and we get 0 .043 people per square meter, approximately. This is a larger number than the rate we saw for people per square foot because we've placed them in a larger area. A square meter is much larger than a square foot, so we're able to fit more people into that space. So numerically it's higher, but it's actually the same balance of people per area. More people in a larger area compared to our rate of people per square foot. The population densities are the same.